Being a professional chef can be tough at the best of times. Getting to the very top can be even harder. But that's what these young cooks are trying to do. This is the semi-final stage of this year's Rue Scholarship. Their task is to create a fish dish for four using bream and artichoke, plus a dessert made from a mystery box of ingredients, all done in around two hours. A challenge taken up by Ben Champkin, who works in a restaurant in Cumbria. What was that like? Uh, it was very tough. I, bit, I enjoyed it, so it was good. What, what's the hardest bit about it? Uh, just remembering timings and things like that. It's all, it all just goes out of your mind when you come into a place like this. It's, it's all the fear of the unknown in a ki different kitchen. Well, these chefs are under all kinds of pressure. Not only are they cooking against the clock, they're doing it under the gaze of some of the country's top chefs. Plus, there's a the knowledge that if they do win one of these scholarships, well, that could change their careers forever. How stressful can it be? Oh, you can feel the stress. I mean, you can feel it in the air, can't you? It's palpable. Um, it's tough. It really is a tough cook-off. And if they win, what sort of effect can that have on their career? Winning the Root Scholarship is a life-changing moment. It really is. Uh, it opens up their, their career to the, the next level. That's because the winner will get to spend three months working, all expenses paid, at a three-star Michelin restaurant anywhere in the world. Andrew Fairley was the first Roos Scholarship winner more than 30 years ago. The acclaimed chef is now back as a judge. When I won it, it was just in France, but at that time for a British chef to get access to a Michelin three-star restaurant in France was nigh on impossible. So that was the first thing, A, getting access to it. And I think it just puts you on the on the track there, I think at that point you decide, do I really want to be a chef for the rest of my career? At what level do I want to work at? So there's a lot of figuring out for yourself, really what, what is the prize going to do for you? After the dishes were tasted by the judges, the names of the chefs going on to the final were announced. Among them, Ben Champkin, whose scholarship dream lives on. Kevin Ashford, ITV News.